All right, we have one more related rate problem to do. Um, and this one involves two cars. Um, very popular problem um, where we have two different things changing during a period of time. All right, so two cars um, start at the same point at the same time. The first car travels west at 65 miles an hour. So if we draw this out, we have one point. We're going to just put this point, And we have one car is traveling west. So it's traveling this way. So I'm going to just draw a little car. That's an awesome car. All right, traveling west. And we'll call this car A. Now, since it's saying it's traveling west, we know that dA dt is going to be 65, equal to 65 miles an hour. OK. And the second car travels north. So it's traveling up this way. So we can draw this little car. Looking all cool. Cadillac or something. All right, traveling this way. All right, we'll call this one B. Um, B, since it has a rate, second car north at 50 miles an hour. All right, so we have dB dt. It's going to be 50 miles an hour. OK. We're asked to find at what rate is the distance between the two cars changing when it's half an hour away. All right, so the distance between them, we're talking about this length from here to here. And we'll call this distance C. Well, hopefully you realize um, that what we created was a right triangle. Because when we write all our information, the next thing we have to figure out is what equation we're going to use. Well, I'm looking at we're thinking the Pythagorean theorem because we have two different values. We have A and B and then C. And C is our distance. So we're going to use A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay? And what we're going to be looking for is we're trying to figure out the rates. So we're going to be looking for DC, DT. And that's our value we're looking for. Okay. Now, to figure this out, um, we're going to see what changes. So we have A changes, B changes, and C changes. Okay? All is changing. So when we take the derivative, we have 2A dA dt plus 2B dB dt equals 2C dC dt. Okay, dC dt. Okay? Now from here, we're going to start plugging in some values. We're going to try to figure out what these values would be. So um, we have our A. Well, what is A? Well, they don't give us an A value. Or do they? Well, we have this after one half hour. Well, when we have this right here, we know we're traveling at 65 miles per hour. So that means one hour we're traveling 65 miles, two hours we're traveling double that. And so after half an hour, we're going to take 65 divided by 2, and that's what A is going to equal. Over here, we can do the same because B, if we travel one hour, we travel 50 miles. If we travel two hours, 100 miles. Well, half an hour, we're going to travel half of whatever 50 is. And that's what B is going to equal. We can find C. C is going to equal, all right, well, figuring in theorem, we can take 65 squared, divided by 2 squared, plus 50 divided by 2, which will equal 25, and square that. And then we can take the square root of that right there. Okay? And actually, I'm going to find those values out. All right? So we're going to take 65 divided by 2 and square it. All right? We'll take 50 divided by 2 and square it. And just so you know what I'm doing, I am on my calculator. I'm putting these values uh, right there. And we'll get an answer of, all right, root of that answer, which will be approximately 41.003. Okay, so that's what C is. Now, when we do this, we can also divide by 2 all these and cancel that out. So we're going to take our A value, which is 65 divided by 2. And we're going to multiply that by our D A D T. D A D T is going to be 65. All right, we're going to take our B value, our B value, because I'm dividing 2 because 2 cancel all these out, just so you know. Um, our B value, our B value is going to be 50 divided by 2 times 50, because that's D B D T. And then what we're going to have is C, which we know is 41.003 times DCDT, which we are trying to find. Okay, so DCDT then is going to equal 65 divided by 2 times 65 plus 50 divided by 2 times 50. 
all over 41.003. If we put that in our calculators, all right, two plus um, 50 squared divided by two, and take that and divide that all by 41.003, I got an answer of approximately, all right, 82.006, and that would be miles per hour. All right. So with this, what we are doing is we wrote out our equation. We identified an equation which was Pythagorean theorem. Um, what we had to do is create that equation, find the derivative, and after that we had to plug in our values. Knowing that since we are talking about rates and given time, we can multiply the time by the rate to get a value for A and B. Okay. Take those values after we find our derivative, plug them in, and solve, and we can get our answer. Hopefully that was fun, and you enjoyed it, and hopefully this helps you on future problems. All right, have a great day.